Welcome back to the second video in this series, Styling My Rectangular Body Type. If you don't know me, my name is Sienna. I make a lot of thrifting, lifestyle, vloggy type videos I post on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Today's video is the second video in this series about styling a rectangular body type. This is based off me because I have a rectangular body type and it took me a lot to get to a place to like not just figure out what silhouettes and shapes look best on my body type, but to get to a place to know how to shop and what to keep in my closet and what to look out for when shopping. Also, I want to preface this video with saying I know talking about body types in general can be triggering so if you don't feel like you're in a place for that, maybe come back to this video at a later date. Knowing my body type and getting to this place has helped me a lot in building my confidence and wearing clothes that I really feel my best in. Learning to style my body type helped me appreciate my body for what it is instead of what it isn't. I feel like I li it literally took me until like my 20s to realize that no matter how skinny I got, I'm still not looking like those models. Like this is a body type, it's my frame. And like the media pushes this like model-esque hourglass shape like i thought that was everybody's bone structure like that's just not coming to terms with that and like learning more has helped me so this video specifically is about styling my rectangular body type in the winter sometimes i feel like i get lost in the fabric of winter clothing with all the layers or sometimes i just opt for a cozier option more than fashion but once you stock your wardrobe with items that you know are serving your style goals and will help you feel confident in your body type the process is going to be so much faster so essentially i kind of divided it into three categories this time which are focusing on creating vertical lines focusing on your waistline and focusing on curves so we'll give we'll break it down and give examples of each for me vertical lines are important to focus on because not only do I have a rectangular body type I'm also 5'2 and my torso is relatively short so with that vertical lines help elongate vertical lines don't have to be literal as in like vertical striped clothing like you just want to create lines up and down your body so a very straightforward example of that would be like a little skinny scarf or something you'd have a line going down the center of your body you're getting that up and down the same thing with like jackets or blazers so jackets and blazers when they're left open there's two vertical lines going up and down your body so like in a long wool trench like the one i have it's a long jacket so giving the illusion of like collar the front of the jacket is giving that straight up and down vertical line for your eye to follow it's all about like it's it's really like art to be honest because you want your eye to follow certain aspects of your outfit to please the eye artistically i suppose so jackets and blazers left open or any details on the jackets that go up and down that will help elongate and create those vertical lines so another way to focus on vertical lines is through elongating the legs in general the rectangular body type is like your shoulders and your hips are the same width with very little indentation along your waist can also be seen in like a very athletic body type there's not a lot of like curve like you're not very curvy you're just pretty straight up and down so to go along with that accentuating something like your legs helps the eye follow more lines so what i like to do for that is mini skirts and then another obvious way to elongate the legs is with like a boot or a heel so i love wearing a pair of boots under jeans i feel like it's a little unsuspected and a fun contrast but also gives you that extra height kitten heels specifically are like or like small little heels are a great life hack which i'm glad they're like back in style because a kitten heel usually like it covers your toes the top of your foot is open when you have the visual line of like your bare leg or like your leg in tights seen from your skirt going all the way down past your angle to the top of your foot just elongates your legs like i'm really hoping you understand this from the visuals because it makes sense to me in my head but it's really hard to explain last thing i have in this category of like vertical lines is v-necks is this a v-neck yeah it's a little bit of a v-neck i don't really mean like this v-necks are great because sometimes it can give the illusion of more dynamic shape on your outfit especially if we're giving rectangle like this isn't coming from from like a toxic place it is coming from an artistic geometric point of view i hope you understand v-necks help a lot in creating shapes when we are more of like a rectangle it's drawing your eye to the center of the body it is following both lines inwards and now eye and attention is to the center of our subject we want them to look at our art our outfit right you can wear a traditional v-neck you can do a button up you can do a cardigan but i like to create different shapes like unbuttoning the top buttons of a cardigan and leaving that open we create a little v there and you could do the same thing with a dual zip on the bottom or i'm buttoning the bottom of a cardigan but those triangles and v-neck and v-shapes are helping bring our eye to the center allowing the eye to travel 
up and down the subject we are art so moving on to the waistlines i was gonna have this category as like horizontal lines because that would make so much sense but it really is about the waist here so for waistlines being a short torsoed 5-2 rectangle the waistline of my outfit matters this doesn't necessarily have to be the waistline of your pants although i do prefer low rise because it makes getting dressed a lot easier for me because i know i want to hit that waistline on my body because drawing a line across my hips increases the width which is giving the illusion of wider hip instead of shoulders directly over hip accentuating the rectangle low rise jeans definitely help hitting that horizontal line across your hips accentuating what you do have and creating contrast with your waist and your shoulders but the waistline doesn't necessarily have to be where your pants or your skirt hit the waistline can also be an illusion of where your shirt stops. So depending on the length of your shirt, you're creating the illusion of a different waistline. Okay, I want to use this shirt to show the different shirt lengths, but also to show the difference between emphasizing your hips versus waist. This one is hips because the shirt is longer. And then if it stopped where the skirt started, this would be emphasizing the waist, which I think makes me look way more boxy. Longer shirts that go past your waist and more hang out around your hips are creating a vertical line across your hips, elongating them horizontally and creating the parallel to your shoulder. And then sometimes it does even give that illusion of an indented curve around your waist. This doesn't have to be like snatchifying or body sucking. It's literally just creating shapes. Even like baby doll tops like this work because it is giving kind of, it's almost like an A-line dress, but shirt form and i do like playing with this a lot i have it in shirts or like longer coats or vests another way you can create an illusion of a lower waistline is with a belt around your waist i used to be like well i used to really be into belts but i would always wear them around my waist like way up here like where my small little indent of my waist was and like it just didn't proportionally look right on me like a lot of this does have to do with proportions wearing a belt around more of my hips does the same effect of a lower waistline pant or a longer hitting shirt and the focus is on your hips and accentuating the width there that you do have another way you can think about the waistline too is like adding weight around your hips because we're so like straight up and down you do want you do want the eye to have some interest in like traveling down your outfit so this is why previously i was hitting on shapes but it's also like the weight and the curves of the outfit so another way i like to do that is with baggy jeans because baggy jeans give the illusion once again of having more weight around my lower hips and then that gives more of a curve for the eye to follow and it's not so like if you're looking at a line it takes you two seconds to look at a line because it's just straight up and down but if you look at something and there's a lot of intricate shapes, your eye is gonna take more time to look at it, which is what inherently creates an interesting, aesthetically pleasing outfit, right? Another thing with jeans too, a way to create curves is with flares. So flare jeans are gonna be are gonna be a great addition to your wardrobe. The flare is going to mimic the curve of the tightness of the jeans in your hip. So the jeans gonna hug your hip and then it's gonna flare out at the bottom. So once again, it gives the eye more of a curve to follow. Any type of mirroring or parallel makes it aesthetically pleasing like symmetry is what contributes to a lot of beauty i think somebody said that somewhere but once again gives the illusion of curve a little more interest for the eye to follow up and down your outfit i'm a big fan of the vest and let me tell you why vests kind of do all of the above so i have a lot of vests in my closet for this reason because she's a three bird one stone type of gal you can manipulate waistlines in the vest short vest long vest if you wear an oversized shirt and then a small vest you can kind of like cinch in the shirt a little bit and then it'll flare out under creating a curve a lot of the time vests are v-neck so once again you're creating the vertical line inward to the center of your body and not all vests have to be form-fitting but a lot of them do have that little like cinchy pull in the back and that once again can emphasize the indent in the waist that you do have add some curves to your outfit if that is something you desire like it's literally you can wear whatever you want i I love wearing a baggy outfit too, don't get me wrong, but every now and then that is the look you're going for. That's what I mean, vests can just kind of do it all. So I love a versatile piece 
and that is what vests are for me. But in combination, I look for all of these qualities when creating outfits with the stuff that I do have in my wardrobe or if I'm shopping, these are kind of the characteristics that would make me interested in a piece to begin with. I'm worried, I'm, I'm a little bit worried you guys are gonna take this wrong because it's not about trying to be something you're not, but to kind of understand the geometry and the art aspect of it all. And that is like the thing in general, like art is subjective and you can literally wear anything and nobody can tell you it's not good because if it's good to you, it's good. These are things that work for me, helped me make sense of my body type. I guess there are like loose rules to fashion. So that is what these I suppose are stemming from. Don't think too hard on it. Like if you want to object to the rules of fashion, don't listen to anything I said. I hope you understand. I like this is, yeah, this is just what worked for me. Make sure to check out the first video if you haven't to kind of make more sense of this topic. Also let me know what video I should make next in this series because I guess I don't know. Like, do you want one for every season or we could be like how to shop for a rectangular body type? Like, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and definitely follow me on tiktok and instagram for daily content i'm on the daily grind okay love you bye